But first to the news that Peter Gentle has been sacked as the coach of Hull following their disastrous playoff defeat by Huddersfield on Friday. And he's been replaced by former player Lee Radford, who takes over with immediate effect. And Lee joins us on the telephone right now. Lee, congratulations on the job. Not the best way to get your chance, but what a chance this is for you. Hi, Eddie. Uh, yeah, obviously, it's, um, you know, it's a little bit disappointing. Um, the circumstances have obviously been offered the position, but it's... You know, it's a, an offer I felt I couldn't, you know, turn down and refuse at this moment. Possibly a year or two early for you? Um, yeah, I think ideally. Um, I'd like to a bit of a longer apprenticeship as, as an assistant. Um, but, you know, having, having spoke to a lot of the players and, and uh, you know, the current staff and, and obviously the ex-coach as well, um, you know, the, the advice given was, you know, go for it and, and you know, I'm sure you can do a good job. Uh, now, there's yourself, there's Andy Last, there's Paul Cook, there's Richard Horn. It's a real uh, former Hull backroom, this, isn't it? You're all ex-Hull or all Hull players. Uh, is this the way the club wants to go now, with local boys at the helm? I think so, yeah. I think the, you know, the foundations um, that have been put in place regards the youth, um, you know, through Andrew Last, who's, who's going to step up and be... Uh, obviously, be my assistant, is, you know, will put us in good stead. There's some, there's some really good kids... Um, coming through the system and obviously long term, you know, we need to get them through and poking the nose through on a, a regular basis with the first team. Well, Ben Crooks and Tom Lynham have certainly shown the way through this year, haven't they? And uh, they Jamie have, Shaw and, and your fullback. And yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. And, you know, and there's, a, there's a couple more behind them as well. So, um, you know, we certainly want to push um, as many local lads as, as we can through, you know, through the system, and um, we'll give them op every opportunity, and we're hoping that you know they, they take the opportunity with both hands. You've got quite a playing roster already. Are there any more signings in the pipeline? Uh, not at the moment. No, I think I think squad-wise, you know, the squad I've inherited is is pretty much where it's at. But um, you know, I'm fully aware of, of what I've got to win the roster, and you know, we've got a, a good enough side to uh, to compete there. For sure. So, you know, the idea is to get the best out of what we've got at the moment. This represents a mighty challenge for you, Lee. You know, there are a few tougher places uh, to coach than up there at the KC Stadium. Uh, it's quite a place to cut your teeth, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's, uh, you know, the, the, the sort of spectators within the city are pretty unique. And, um, you know, I've said it a lot, you know, on many occasions, when you're doing well, there's, there's no better supporters on the planet. It's... Um, and vice versa, when you're going poor, they're, uh, they're pretty opinionistic as well. So, um, you know, it's a challenge that, that I'm fully aware of. And obviously, you know, I want the same things uh, as what the spectators want. And that's, you know, a, a good, solid, hard-working, well-disciplined side. And that's something we'll be striving for when we, uh, when we come together in pre-season. Lee, all the very best for next year. It is a massive job, a massive challenge, but I think you might be up to it. All the best. Great stuff. Thank you. Cheers, Eddie. Now then, Peter Gentle was uh, midway through a four-year deal at the KC Stadium. The axe falls a month after he led them out at Wembley for the Challenge Cup final against Wigan. Uh, Sean McRae is here in the studio, coming to the end of his role as director of rugby at the whole club, and he was a keen supporter of Gentle in getting the coaching job there in the first place. Sean, you'll be saddened by this news, I'm sure, but are you surprised? Well, I'm a little surprised in as much as that, uh, you know, I thought that the club was moving along the way that it was expected to. Um, there was a lot of change two years ago, you know, uh, that when Adam bought the club and there was a lot of investment, uh, both in facilities and in staff, um, at the high level, at the first team level, but also at the youth, youth level. There's been a lot of money gone into the academy set up and uh, Lee, Lee Radford rightly suggested there that Andy Last has done a a good job there, a formidable job, and uh, there's been plenty of other people as well that have that have um, that have made major contributions. So you get the feeling that the club is going along steadily. Uh, this year to get to the Wembley final, um, the performance wasn't good. I think that's probably an, an understatement. And the performance last week um, in the in the playoff game certainly was out of character. So. My, I guess my, my disappointment comes from the fact that, that, that my loyalties are with, with the coach for two reasons. One, I've become very good friends with Peter. And two, um, I've been in that situation before where it's happened. And I've always had sympathy and empathy, I suppose, with, with, with what coaches have to go through. I guess you understand when you come into it that it's going to happen to you. There's going to be some really tough times in coaching. Um, 
your job has probably always been scrutinised, constantly been scrutinised. You get put under enormous pressure. Uh, so Adam has made a decision. Um, he is the sole owner of the club. He is the only person that puts money into that organisation, his own money. Um, and he's entitled to, to make the decision and he's entitled to send the club in the direction that he feels is best. So um, I'm, I'm happy that I was kept out of that decision. I wasn't part of the decision at all. Adam purposely kept me out of it because of my loyalty to Peter and I suppose the fact that I'm moving on. I mean, I've effectively, I've effectively left the club now. Well, you may remember that at the start of August, <coughs> all this started billowing about. There was a report in one newspaper then saying that Peter Gentle would be sacked before the start of next season. Now, I made a couple of phone calls at that time to the club and it was vehemently denied by them. And subsequently, Adam Pearson, the owner, has stated that Gentle's job was safe. It seems the journalist in question was bang on the money. But, uh, you know, John, somewhere, someone somewhere at Hull was being economic with the truth. Can I say that? Well, I think in, in, in reality, I, I guess what, what, the, what a club wants to tell the media and various different aspects of the media and what the club's actually doing, uh, and for lots of different reasons, that is, not least uh, not wanting to undermine uh, the confidence of the team the confi and the confidence of the coaching staff, um, they would perhaps shield the players from that, shield some of us from that. If that's been a, an unravelling state of events, uh, then it's, it's absolutely Adam Pearson's prerogative or the spokespeople uh, through, through Adam Pearson. It's absolutely their prerogative, uh, what they tell us and when they tell us it. I remember thinking at the time that it, I would be surprised if he was, if he was uh, sacked. I am still surprised that he's been sacked. I think they've had a good year despite uh, the last television match that we saw and the cup final defeat. I think they've made giant strides on the field. They've got, they had a great... Uh, set up there. They had a lot of youth uh, coming through this year. We already spoke or alluded to a few of those names in the interview with Lee Radford. What they have got now, looking forward, uh, is a coach there who wears his heart on his sleeve. I, I know known Lee from playing against him a few years and uh, it'll, it'll be a, a tough and uncompromising pre-season, I would have thought, and it'll be interesting to see uh, how, they, uh, how they start the season next year because uh, he's tough and he's old-fashioned and he's not going to take any nonsense from anybody. But the good thing is he's going to have uh, the respect of the players, he's got respect of a great deal of the, uh, the population of Hull, as, as far as I understand, and uh, we wish him all the best. It, the one thing he ought to keep in the back of his mind, though, is that it's a hot seat, and ultimately the, the result that seems to have cost uh, Peter Gentle's job was the, the, the drubbing that Huddersfield handed out to him a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you're only as good as your last game, I, I, I guess, is the, is the piece of advice you would, uh, you would give to him.